Well, hello everybody. I am Jay Leonard J, and today we are looking at the new Tone Block 202 by Quilter Amplification. For all of you quilter fans out there, people that love their unique tone, the power that they have, the flexibility, the lightweight, you are going to love this new box that they just released. This is the Tone Block 202 and is, in my opinion, by far the best and most flexible head they've ever released. Similar to the previous model Tone Block, the new 202 has 200 watts of power, an effects loop, locking IEC power cable, Easy adaptability to any quilter block style cabinet, which turns the whole thing into a combo amp. A speaker emulated direct out and an ability to take almost any cab you want to throw at it. However, for the 202, they added a limiter and a reverb and replaced the Tri-Q tone knob with a three band EQ. On top of that, you have three voicing modes, the familiar full Q and vintage, as well as a FRFR mode, which is great for all you Kemper and Fractal users out there. And lastly, something you weren't able to do before, you can go pre or post master volume on the signal out, great for headphone users or people relying on the sound man. Well, as you can tell, this thing does, man, quite a bit of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Fender Telecaster with Virgil Arlo pickups and string joy strings. I'm going to plug it into the Block Dock 12 HD cabinet, and I'm gonna show you some great tones to get yourself started. We'll hear what the emulated speaker out jack sounds like and finally i'm going to get my amplifier modeler i'm going to plug it into the frfr mode and see if we can use this little unit to uh, power my amp sims let's get going i can't wait <laughs> All right, I am wired up and ready to go. I got EQ fairly neutral, a little bit of limiter, a little bit of verb. Let's hear what we got here. Vintage mode in the voicing. My lordy, let's go to the full Q mode, hear the difference in the voicing. Let's add a little bit more of that limiter for something a little bit more funky feeling.
One big selling feature for this amp for me is actually the signal out over here. You could actually make it pre or post master volume. I like to go pre if I'm going direct into the sound console. That way I could control my master on stage, but the sound guy has control over my volume on his own end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this guitar over here. I'm gonna play a riff and I'm gonna go between the sound of this mic cab and the simulated speaker out of this amp and let's go hear the difference between the two. Here we go. If you are a Helix or a Kemper or a Fractal amp modeler kind of guy and you want to hear yourself on stage, you can easily plug your unit into the Tone Block 202 by switching the voicing switch to FRFR mode for a nice flat sound platform. Right now, I got my GT1000 plugged into the Tone Block 202 through a Frontliner 2x8 cab. And let's go hear how we can bring some power to my in the box unit. <laughs> Well, that is it. That is the demo. Thank you all so much for watching. Please keep commenting. Please keep subscribing. Uh, ring the bell icon. The more subscribers I get, the more views I get, uh, the more opportunities I have to keep making fun videos like this for you. And I love making these videos for you. My question for all uh, the subscribers, actually, actually, no, let's, let's make the question for you quilter users. Does this new quilter tone block amp have enough features in it that's going to make you go, you know what? I'm gonna go do the upgrade. Or are you pretty much happy with the block amp you have right now? I'm curious to hear what you all have to say right in the comments section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.